another one that I, another text that I look at is um, Genesis 1 and 2. <laughs> so if the church, if we're all, we want it, we want to reflect as much of God's original design in this life as possible. I think that's true. Like, what did God design us to do and to be? Um, and when we look at his intent for male and female in Genesis 1 and 2, um, it's just, I think I'm just pointing this out here, that the chapter 1 account talks about God creating ma male and female with the intent that they would have dominion together. Like, there's a, there's a very mutual language in chapter 1 about how he creates male and female, and he gives them the earth to take care of together. And then in chapter 2, the narratives is a little different because God creates Adam first in that account. And then he says, it's not good for man to do this alone. And so he creates a helper. And his helper is woman. And um, I still remember hearing a Jewish um, professor talk about that word, help me. And I know what's in our background for help me. <laughs> um, but the Jewish professor was talking about how the meaning of this word, part of it is this idea of being in contrast to and being against, not against in a, in a way of conflict, although there's plenty of it <laughs> um, sometimes between male and female, but more it's like, like, the tr like the supportive role, like the tent or the tripod that, that God didn't intend for men to stand by themselves. There's this understanding that male and female were created to stand together and be very supportive alongside of each other. And that's the help. The help meet. <laughs> what kind of help? Well, a very different kind of help, probably with a very different perspective sometimes, but meant to keep things in a sense of peace or shalom or stability. So I wonder about that. <laughs> In Genesis 1 and 2, perhaps from the very beginning, God understood that two parts are always needed for balance and that one part will never remain in balance alone. Then when we read through the New Testament and we watch closely for the presence of women, there are a lot of, there are a lot of um, messages of hope, I think, for Christian women. I still remember the first time I noticed the short phrases in the Gospels about the women who followed Jesus from Galilee and realized that all my life I just pictured it like Jesus and a group of men. It was just Jesus and his 12 disciples doing all this amazing stuff. But when I realized that there were women that were traveling with them and were attending to their needs and were part of this ministry as well, I think the phrase is that they ministered to him from their substance. That was a that was like a fireworks for me, right? Because, oh, they were there too. They were very much a part of this. Um, then I think about Romans 16, where Paul is sending greetings to multiple women. Like he's saying, greet this woman because she labored long in the Lord and greet this woman who was in the Lord before me. And um, he's sending these greetings to women in the community and realizing that whatever Paul meant by women being submissive or silent in church services, he did not see them as uninvolved in the church. He saw them as very involved and very important presence in the Christian community. So I consider these things when I'm encouraging women to bring their thoughts and to bring their concerns and their ideas to conversation with men in their homes and in their churches. So of course, first to their husbands, but then as they're invited to be willing to share their thoughts um, with men in their communities. We talk about how we're not, this isn't about taking anything away from men. It's never about trying to take something away. It's, it's the desire to be part of something together. And I encourage women to join conversations and help men in their lives and always doing this also from a posture of love. Because if we fight to have a voice, it still profits nothing, right? So we come with a desire to be with in our communities, but always from a posture of love. <laughs>